Shalom, 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 and hello. This is Sister Victory. I first like to say um, that the reason I'm I'm leaving this channel is because it's defiled. This channel was started initially to talk about the hypocrisy hypocrisy that I saw in Straightway, and actually seeing the spirit of the scribes and the Pharisee. Um, I, I, I've been in church all my life as a little girl on up. I've been in church. I've been seeking the Lord's face. I've fallen and I've gotten back up. I've been disappointing to the most high who hallelujah. I've disappointed myself in the most high, but I had never been this disappointed as seeing a group of people. I, I've never seen this level of wickedness in the church. Never until straightway. And it had caused me to be more fearful to the most high. Um, it caused me to really take my soul salvation seriously. And I just got to start with the videos. I, I can be all day pointing out. I could actually make a life career pointing out the wickedness in, in Mr. Dial. And the only people that wouldn't see it is the ones that's blinded under his spell. That's it. The only ones that are his yes men and yes women. The only ones that are wicked themselves. It will go along with this. But the righteous, the Bible says the sheep know his voice and no other shall we follow. And that's why we don't follow you no more, Mr. Dow. You become mad at everybody who won't follow you. But we've moved on. We moved on. And it's time for me to do the same. Today mocks the three years that Mr. Dow hid the video where he put, puts me out on social media and tells me not to come back for six months because he was checking to see if he can troll me. If I came back in the six months... Then he can control me because he saw that I was waking up to the unrighteousness. They can tell. They've been doing this so long, playing on people, feelings, emotions, and being sad and heartbroken people. You know, people that's just looking for a family. Don't be that desperate. We, Brother Mike and I have stood up and we warned. The Bible tells us to warn. Warn of the wolves. We're supposed to warn the wolves that the we supposed to warn the sheep that the wolves are there and they're coming. That's what we did. We warned. And I'm done. Anybody else who still want to be a part of that ministry, you know, you know, hey, the Titanic got had to come down. So, oh, well, chips fall where they lay. But I'm going to show you, Mr. Dow, and this this is the last video that I'm going to show you um, yourself and how when you feel good about a person, you talk well of them. When they're doing what you want them to do, dancing how you want them, saying what you want them to say, you speak well of them. But then, soon as they see in, in, the wickedness in you, and they're not going to stand for that because we're standing for y'all, that's when you slander them. Let's see, and, and, and your social skills are so poor, and this is why I put this video up: the skills of a good leader. You don't even have one of them, not one skill that you have. You know, you don't have not one skill of this good leadership. Read it. You can't check off one. Just like you can't check off any of the fruit of the spirit. <laughs> you, it's sad. You have poor social skills, poor leader skills. It's sad. You know, I'm sure, you know, maybe that's why you like polygyny so much. Because I don't know. Maybe that's the only thing you halfway decent at. I don't know. Uh, uh, maybe you got people in the illusion for that one too. But all I can say is let me, let me get off of, because like I said, you can be here all day pointing out your wickedness and your lies. But look, just to show you how poor, and I remember I used to come on that land with your dad and, and brother Victor would ask me, well, what car are we driving? What time are we going? I'm like, I, you didn't work that out with me. Pastor, Dow? Like you don't talk. To people, you talk at people and over social media. That's not being a man or a woman. That's cowardly. When you, the proper way is to address people and speak with them. But your social skills, your communication skills are so poor that you're not fit to lead a dog. You're not fit to lead an animal, let alone a human being, man or female, woman or male. You know, and maybe that's why you talk about homosexual so much because maybe you've been raped as a child. Something happened to you, though. 
something happening to you and you got to get some deliverance for it. That was my daughter. Why you, my daughter that you want to put your mouth on. She had things happen to her in her childhood that she never addressed. And it caught up with her. Just like any of us who don't address the sins and the hurt that we experience as children, as young adults, and we just go around and be tyrants and dangerous and violent, it's going to end in destruction. And that's why I have, this is the last week I'm speaking to you because I have to move forward. And and when you, the Bible said, leaving all those things behind that so easily weight you. You know, you, you are heavy low burden. And I choose to lay my burdens before the most high. Where his yoke is easy, his burden light. But you are a taskmaster. And those people are your slaves on your community. Truly they are. But I'm not going to make, I'm trying not to make this too long. But we're going to point out how you're such a tyrant. You even dogging your yes boy out. You know, it's so sad how teacher Shane just, yes, yep, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir, yep, yep. You know, okay, and the type of wickedness. You know, that's so sad, teacher, teacher Shane. I pray that, I pray that whatever it is that he has over you, that you would just follow wickedness on this type of level. Nobody has houses, land, anything for me that I will not. Choose the most high over serving somebody in their wickedness. Oh, hallelujah. I, 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 I would just testify and tell it, make it a testimony that Yah has delivered me and be set free from demons and blackmail. Oh, Jesus and sorcery and all this wickedness. Mr. Dow, I realize you're so wicked and evil. You know, I was trying to bury the pain and the hurt and the bitterness that I had towards people that mistreated from family, friends, associates up. But there is no burying those spirits when somebody follow you. All you do is bring life to those demons. There is no Holy Spirit in you. And I'm thankful. I'm thankful in the next uh, videos after one short one I will give is to show you how y'all blessed us. Who left your ministry. How he had. A way for us. He said he'll make a way for us. Out of no way. We leave you. And the people that want to follow you. To your gloom and doom. And it's sad because. Nobody gets it. That wants to stay with you. Until it happens to them. You know, and that's the difference between y'all's true people. We have compassion. Brother Mike and I don't have to get done wrong to stand up for what's right. It doesn't have to happen to us because that's the heart that the Most High gave us. He didn't made me a woman to stand up for righteousness a long time ago. Even as a child, my heart to desire to do what was right. Even at my own cost, my own lost. And I'm not bragging because I couldn't do it without the help of the Messiah. Because I'm wicked on the inside. My flesh is wicked. The difference is, is I check it and I don't let it get too far out of line. Because the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times, but get back up. But the wicked fall into mischief. That proves that you're wicked because you continue to fall into the mischief. Look at your dog and teacher. Shane. One minute you're dogging somebody out slandering their name they ain't nothing today because you mad at them and then they two months ago three months ago they were wonderful best thing you ever had you just uh james one and eight a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways you saw unstable if i was able to put it in words you would be spiritually retarded. You, you you have a spiritual retardation. And I'm questioning, is it mentally too? It, it, I'm questioning with your behavior. And you call yourself a pastor. Jesus, my y'all today. 
Let's listen to your dog, your own man. You, and y'all don't see this. Y- y'all just covered up. It's more y'all than him. I tell you what, if y'all put your money together, take your feet and move and walk, get off your butts, be willing to get a job and say, we ain't dealing with this stuff. We serving y'all for real. It's more y'all than him. Leave him on, leave him on that land he want. He want to, he want to be a slave taskmaster. Let him be that. But I know just like in the, in the re, when there were real slavery from my ancestors, some slaves stayed with the master because they didn't mind their nooses and they chains. And y'all be the ones that stay that like your chains and your nooses. But there was some saying, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do because even though black people was free from slavery, but they still didn't have a lot of opportunities. But they was willing to take their opportunities out there by getting away from that taskmaster. They had enough faith to believe. I'd rather believe that I'm going to make it out on the outside before I stay in here with this wicked taskmaster. <laughs> y'all can make it. Y'all don't need him. He need y'all. But he got y'all thinking that y'all need him. You know, y'all better choose y'all. Because when it's all over with, you're going to wish you had. That's why I can't stay here no more after this week. And I just, I just never seen no wickedness like this. I, I've never, I, it, 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 it hurts my heart. The father knows that, but he's preparing me and he strengthened me in this hour to be what I need to be in the kingdom. And I had to endure wicked men like you because I'm going to come across many more. I had to endure wicked women because I'm across many more. And the woman don't know that the power that the most high gave us. He called us. He who hallelujah. He built the woman to be the man's helpmate. That's why he created me. He created me to be a man's helpmate. Be it my sons that I raise up. To the man that I have to tell a husband. A friend, an associate, to be their helpmate. And and it's not everything ain't sexual. You you so wicked and lustful. Your man, you used to say, unto the pure, all things are pure. Man, how you just threw them words out the window. Ain't nothing pure about you anymore or your ministry. That was one of the things what drew me is I thought there was a pureness. Because my heart has been pure so long. And longing for that pureness. But I realize I'm only going to find it in the most high. And in his true people. Not people walking around wearing uh, head covers in a long skirt. And a beard down to the ground to say he a Hebrew Israelite. He said we will know them by their fruit. The things you say and do about people. You can't have the love of Yah in your heart. And anybody who goes along with it and mock it and agree with that, they don't have the love of the Father in their heart either. I pray that they find it. But you ain't going to find it following a man like you. You, he, you don't promote love. That's the key. Love cover, covers a multitude of sin. My love for the Father keeps me from saying certain things, doing certain things, and I struggle with my mouth. The Bible said that's one of the most deadliest members, full of poison. And whatever man can tame that, he has become the perfect man. You got a long way because you can't tame nothing about your private part or your mouth. And like I said, I, let's get to sh- showing you how you do to own your own people that's been around you. It don't matter. They can be with you for years. And you would turn around and stab them in the back. Cut them down. I don't know why y'all want to follow somebody. It ain't going to be no good end to it. If you get a good end after following this man, dedicating your life to him, know that that was y'all's grace. But that's the only way. Because he said, my people, hear my voice and no other shall we follow. That's why we couldn't follow you and stay with you. But you hate. You tried to destroy Pastor Eric's marriage. The devil used you to try to do that. You destroyed so many marriages, so many families. So many fathers have lost their children listening to you. You're going to hurt 
one day, people. You're going to feel that pain when your children are all grown up and don't want nothing to do with you and you're old and you ain't got no help. And now you got to sit in your chair and think about all the things and the decisions that you make, the people that you hurt, you're broke. And all because you wanted to be on Dow's team. (laughs) I'm telling you, I got enough sense, Brother Mike, and so many others got enough sense to choose the winning team, which is the most high y'all. We don't care if we don't get there rich. We don't care if we don't get to go on vacations every year, lavish vacations. We, You know, Mr. Dow, you don't have any game and you able to get that type of money out of people. Don't you think Brother Mike and I, we, we got game. We, we know, I know how to play people if I wanted to. I know how to run scams if I wanted to. But it ain't in my heart to do that because I'm a child of the most high. You think we ain't tempted when we see wicked people like you get ahead? That's why the word told us to fret not ourselves for evil do it. For you will soon, soon be cut down like the grass that with us. He gives us his word to comfort us. All you did was buy into Satan's. When when Jesus came back from the 40 day fast and was on the mountaintop and the devil offered him everything. He gave him the word of Yah. And he not just gave him the word, but he stood on the word. You took Satan's offer. He presented you polygyny. You took that. That was the lust of the flesh. Lust of the eye. He presented you Hebrew Man of the Year Award. That was the pride of life beginning. You were just set up by the devil. And he set you up so you could set other weak, broken men up. And then you shut the women up because, you know, women, we can see through that BS. And you teach the sisters to shut up and be quiet, and that's what y'all want. But you don't talk about, never heard you talk about Deborah. Or JL, never heard you even touch on those sisters. See, because you don't talk about what you don't agree with. I could just go on and on and show you video after video where you just being a hypocrite. When it applies to you, you say it's okay. When it don't apply to you, it ain't good. You know? And, and, and you know what the Bible says, that the poor will always be among us. And so will the dumb, the blind. You know? And I just, I'm done crying over the blind and the dumb. He told us, that's what Jesus said. They'll always be with us. Fix your heart, Sister Victoria. It's heavy. The Bible even talk about how some of us can't even bear it. It's because of the pureness in our heart. The pureness. It's hard to have a pure heart and watch wickedness. Because the righteous says, the Bible says, righteousness exalts a nation. Wickedness destroys nations. Ooh, hallelujah. And you hate me so much because I'm a woman. But I was called to be a helpmate. And not just to somebody I'm laying with. I was called to stand and be a helpmate in every area. And when I leave this Yaspi video, because it's it's corrupt and it's contaminated, because I had to deal with your wickedness. I had to tell you the truth about yourself. Had to tell people the truth. Now, what they do with it, because Yah does everything in decency and order. His word says in Romans 8 and 28, for we know that all things work together for the good of those that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose and his plan. Let's listen to you slander, teacher Shane, real quick. Let's listen to you slander, teacher Shane. All right. Facebook live. Been a long, long time since I've been on here. Um, So... I guess since while I'm out here waiting for just a second, I'll give y'all a few minutes to get on. I'm going to discuss a few things um, in reference to our society 
meaning our world, the Israelite world, uh, the way that we should be. I'm also, uh, hopefully, I'm going to discuss um, about leadership in a straight way and not using my platform and my pulpit uh, for your own personal unresolved issues that you may have in your heart that you have not come to grips with. Because uh, the one thing that I definitely always try to avoid is dressing down leadership uh, in front of the congregation. But if I have to, because you s simply can't get it, and I'm talking to you, Teacher Shane, um, then I'm going to actually um, have to use uh, an open rebuke platform because sometimes uh, people get emotionally stirred up and they don't understand uh, the type of um, message that they're putting out, um, especially when you're not qualified to speak on certain issues. That only goes for Teacher Shane, but it goes for all the elders the teachers, the brothers, and everybody. Now, I haven't had an opportunity to see Teacher Shane since I've been back home, but I definitely did not like the approach of what I heard this past Sabbath, and I'm going to address it even more so openly uh, the next time that I'm on. Uh, but in this ministry right here, um, we're always going to exercise uh, some type of professionalism, especially when it's... Now, it ain't a bone that's professional in Mr. Dow's body. It's not a, one bone. One tissue, one cell, blood drop. You know, come on. Here's you, you, your, your communication skills are poor. Here you are. Live the man live on your community, and you gotta address him on Facebook. What about a phone call? You oh, that's right. I remember when I called you. And made a mistake and put Mother Carol's number up because I got frustrated with your wickedness and I couldn't understand and I was trying to get an understanding. And so I accidentally put her phone number up. Yeah, you don't answer the phone. That's right. But this is the kind of stuff. And you make people believe that you're so close. Y'all do the little videos and the brotherhoods and all this. And it's crap. It's garbage. It's lies. It's deception. You don't even talk to the men on your community. And they know it. Look at you. I'm proving it right here. You talking on a Facebook when the man live how close to you? A walk, a little walk down the way. Seriously. But you got to put him on social. That's how you, you a snake. And what do a snake do? He bite. He's poisonous. And you poison so many lives. Men that I would have considered, I might have thought. And you wonder why we ain't, I'm not... I'm not looking for no man when I when they look like you. I'm not that desperate because I have control over my members through the Holy Spirit. See, I'm led by the Holy Spirit. I'm led by the Holy Spirit. And sisters, if you're gonna marry some of these demons, you need to make a a a, a pledge that if he turn away from righteousness and start walking with wickedly, that you will try to compel him and admonish him back to the most high. But if all you see is him wax worse, you gone. That's what you need to make your vows. <laughs> why are you telling y'all don't get a marriage license? But this is why people get a marriage license. How many women you have slept with now and they're not with you anymore? And they've, they've allowed your wicked semen to, to be a part of them. And some of these women, I still see their behavior still, they still jacked up after all these years after sleeping with you. Because your demons entered in. And that's why you mad at me and lie on me. Because you, <laughs> you didn't get to get this sachet. And, and you never will. And, and that's the thing. You, you keep saying this because it's really what you feel on the inside. You know what I'm saying? But I couldn't be with nobody like you. And I don't even know why they're with you. You know, because I am a woman with a strong constitution in the most high. Y'all didn't let you destroy Pastor Eric's marriage because he was a righteous. Y'all knew he was a holy man that he was going to use to help Israel bring balance and bring love. See, I'm learning. I, the only reason why I'm here and able to even forgive you for everything you've done to me and put me through is because of the word that Pastor Eric teaches, the love that he exhibits that compels me. To surrender to the most high. 
That is the effect that the Holy Spirit and the leadership that he's walking in, it brings forth conviction. Anytime you following somebody and they just ramp you up to make hatred be division, bring division and separation. The Bible tells us to watch them. That brings division amongst the brothers and the sister. And your leader do it all the time. But y'all ain't watching. When will you wake up? You're talking about, and then I'm going to show you where, you know, now you dogging my pastor out, Pastor Eric Robinson, because he left quietly. You know, you're not happy if they leave quietly and respectfully. You're not happy if they leave talking. You just a double-minded, I don't even want to call you a man. You a simp, a double-minded simp who walks around with your armor on, all shirt on, uh, chest stuck out, looking like Mr. Potato Head. You know, you favor him so much, but you talk and slander people's looks. You're not that great looking. Your big old bubbled eyes. Your big wide nose, you're not that great looking. And and Lord knows you can't get no awards for your character. I I bet you never even received a citizenship award ever from the time you was in school with your behavior. Bet you ain't never been on good citizenship. Lord have mercy. You're a tyrant. You need some deliverance. Here we got Passover coming. That's why I'm getting done because this is so appropriate. Today is March 20th, 2024. Three years later, after you put me out, this is where it ends so I can be the light and the salt of the earth. Because I did my job. I did what y'all recalls of me and and a uh, warning people, if they still want to be a part of your ministry, that's them. Have at it. You deserve whatever destruction you receive if you keep following this wicked man. But we've done our part. The Bible said, or the blood will be on our hands. We didn't do it. Brother Mike stood up. Only man I seen really stand up. You know, because the average person, they don't stand up unless it happens to them. Yeah, we see that. You never cared about so many of you brothers and elders and whatever, pastors. If if it don't happen to you, you don't care. Yon spirit is not like that. He died for the whole world. He ain't say, I'm just dying for the Israelites. I just come to shed my blood for the Israelites. He cared about the state of the entire world, all the nations. The difference is, is he called us to be the leader. Look at your leadership skills. They're awful. And you can, you can talk about women being weak and, and dirty, and you can see all the beams in their eyes with the plight in yours, a block, a whole building in yours. <laughs> and none of these men tell you. Out of all these men, y'all could turn him around if you just tell him and leave him. What are you going to do with all that land by itself? He's scared to death of y'all leaving him. He's scared to death. But y'all won't choose y'all. You won't choose y'all over this wicked man. But I'm going to just go real quick. I'm going to be quiet. Like I said, I could be here all day talking about your level of wickedness. But I'm grateful for the awareness. Because, you know, you truly make me hold closer to the Most High. You truly make me see the, the revelation is just falling off the pages. The Bible talking about in the last days, perilous times shall come. Many people will be lovers of themselves, high, mighty, boasters. You, all of that. I'm seeing all of that out of your one ministry. Then sisters, I'm telling you, y'all might want to go see Gino Jennings. If you run a man that bad, I, I, I'm just not, you know, I've never been enthused by any type of men, but strong-minded men. You know, I, I don't want a man that can't teach me nothing. Uh, spiritually or naturally. Like I, I want him to be the head. So a strong so down it ain't I ain't got a man because I can't get one. <laughs> I just don't want one. If he weak, 
If 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 he if you a weak minded man, you know, I'm grateful for men like Brother Mike and Pastor Eric who could love and know how to love and still to be the man that he's supposed to be to protect his family. They got balance. You you so tore up from the flow up, Mr. Dow. You so tore up. The Bible said that you think you're rich, but you're poor. There is not enough money or things because y'all supplies my, all my needs according to his riches and glory. Every day I'm, I'm, I'm blessed because I choose to lay at his feet. I choose to follow what he say. And after your ministry, I'm even going to die to my flesh even the more. This is going to be the most beautiful Passover coming into because we have a man of Yah. We got brothers and sisters that's really learning how to love one another, how to die to our flesh, how to be iron shopping and iron for real. Instead of walking around, y'all going to be sitting over there in that man's ministry who, who come to his Passover feast. And all of y'all going to be looking stupid. Who going to pray for your food? Who going to offer a prayers? Who going to lay hands? Y'all better be careful. Letting these wicked spirits jumping off and you, people laying hands. Pastor Corey, I remember you said that you asked for a double portion of dial. Maybe that's what's going on. You better denounce that. You better denounce that double portion. I don't want a drop of that man spirit in me. That's wicked. Maybe you need to denounce that spirit that you, maybe, you know, I'm, we learned. I learned through the straight way. Watch what we say. Watch what we say. We could be adding curses. We could be coming in agreement with things. I learned that from straightway. I just never learned that a ministry could be this wicked that say they serve the Lord. I, I just never learned that part. But anyway, we're going to let you hear how teacher Eric was spoken well of and now you, you're down on them. Because if they don't follow you, do what you say. All you yes men. You know, when y'all going to rise up and be some real men? Uh, Let's hear Teacher Eric, and I'm going to tell the one story that I felt so sorry for Sister Ashley. Thou, how how cold you are. You don't care about the people that's on your community. You really don't. And y'all really want to tell the truth. Brother Mike and I doing our videos made it a little better for y'all. Y'all get to go to Walmart more often. He probably gave you a couple of extra nibbles and bits. A couple dollars extra. Because of us, because of us, you should be writing us thank you letters. Get a fake name, fictitious name, and say thank you, sister. Thank you, brother. Because it's heathen acting a little bit better because you exposing all his wickedness. So he treating us a little bit better because he's scared. He don't want y'all to leave him deep down the side, but he too much of a tyrant and prideful to tell you the truth. Mother Carol, he stood there and threatened you like she can go to hell on. Man, if Sister Carol left you, man, you'd probably be in the dirt the same day, the next day. You wouldn't make it. Because she the only strong woman that you got that's some, somewhat walking in somewhat righteousness. I mean, that's that's the only anchor you have in a woman. So don't believe that, Sister Carol. You better. You want us? Do you want Brother Mike to find Sister Eileen's number? You know, Eileen that he used to call bees and hoes all the time. Brother Kabir's ex-wife. Brother Mike is good. You know, the brother good at tracking down some stuff. He might can go find Eileen's number for you, Sister Carol. <laughs> he might can find her number for you. Just let us know. You know, when I go to my new channel, you know, if you need to get a fastidious, you know, a name undercover, come on a new channel and let us know if you need Brother Mike to find that number. Find that number to Eileen. Because <laughs> she good got her apparently a good lawyer. <laughs> you get half, sister. He admitting, he admitting all over social media he commits adultery. So, sister... Is the nationwide is on your side. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. You got it, girl. But anyway, 
And again, Sister Carol, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put your number on that screen. He probably never let you know that line. Say I mocked you. Never said nothing ill against you, Sister Carol. I, I was just, I would admit I was hurt that I, you know, was didn't get any condolences for my daughter, but I'm okay. I, I, you know, I get it. You know, I, I, I can't imagine living with a tyrant like that. Like, you know, my mind, just the thought about that too long just makes my mind get up and start running out the door. So I, I just couldn't imagine actually being in it. He don't, he couldn't present me enough good times to make up for the, Horrible times. He, he, he just couldn't do it. I'd work three jobs to get away from that man. <laughs> Gladly. Go work every day. Sister Victoria, why are you smiling so hard? Woo, I'm away from that tyrant. I come to work every day rejoicing. What y'all want me to do? <laughs> you better go get some jobs. You can get a check. Go find somewhere else to go. Y'all put your money together. That's what you did to get there. Start all over at least you have peace in your later days. Ain't nobody worth going to hell for. Now we're going to listen how you give Pastor Eric, which was Teacher Eric at that time, his props. And then it changed because he ain't no longer with you. See, that's how you like a, a big child. You, you, you won't be my friend. I'm not your friend no more because you're not my friend. You, you. Jesus, talk about arrested development. Let's listen. And all his other proud uh, country unities or perspectives or England or Great Britain or Sweden or, or Philippines or nothing. No, no, you, now you become of the household of faith. His you household that? of faith. See, I'm the one that's got to bring this out because if I don't address this and deal with this, Y'all going to continue on with the stupid foolishness is going on. Now, teacher Eric Robinson, mm -hmm. brother Richard Flairman, brother Patrick Moore. All right. Y'all know that them are the top three white brothers, Caucasian brothers we have in the ministry that I keep telling you over and over again, you get it. And the rest of you white brethren, you should follow their lead. Whether you, whether your heart, is, is in, not in the right place or not. Now, if your heart ain't in the right place or not, you don't really truly understand this. Listen to me very closely. You're going to be despised and rejected. While people will respect you somewhat for just being in Israel, uh, they won't love you to the extreme extremity when they hear all this malice and this discontentment in you. Uh, Brother Shane, nobody out there in the black Hebrew Israelite community gives one damn about you. They don't care nothing about you Ooh. because you don't have the platform out there for them to be even showing discord. Tear you down. Speaking about you. All the attack, excuse me, is mostly on me. It's mostly on me. Y'all understand that? So he tells Teacher Shane he ain't shit. But let's just be real. Let's just be real. You know, I never really say profanity. But this this channel is, is, is <laughs> it's over. It's done. I'm, I'm going to be walking in the newness of life. So... It doesn't matter. The Bible tells us not to put new wine in old wine skins. This is an old wine skin that I needed to do because nobody else would. Out of all the decades, y'all just allowed this man to become more wicked. And everybody, either they walked away quietly. But thank y'all for the people that he chose to stand. Do you think we want to stand some of, do you really think that Moses wanted to come up against Pharaoh? He grew up with Pharaoh. Y'all don't give a darn how long you've been on somebody's land and community. Moses was so much of a righteous man that he grew up in Pharaoh's house with all the luxuries that Pharaoh had. Yet he chose when he saw that Hebrew man being beat, it angered him. And that's what righteousness people, that's why we can't watch unrighteousness and be okay with it. Because it would anger you. He didn't give you, you know what? How, how many of y'all would have been sitting right there laughing and he he and with Pharaoh's house because you enjoying the benefits. But see, real Hebrews, real Israelites can't do it. We can't do it. We're not cut from that cloth. 
We got to stand. And that's what Moses did. He stood up for righteousness. He had a whole lot to gain. More than y'all sitting over there on that man's property being slaves. He actually was next to Pharaoh's child. He, he, he was, he was a, a part of the family. He got all the benefits that his cousin did. All of it. All the blessings, the benefits. But he chose when Yah rose him up and his eyes became open. He chose to stand for righteousness. And he denounced wicked Pharaoh. But y'all can't even denounce this raggedy, low down, poor character, call himself a pastor. You know, y'all can't even denounce him <laughs> for some raggedy houses. Of, you know, <laughs> raggedy little house and somebody commands you what to do. Putting women down, telling women, hurt, telling women they can't have a man after 60. Where is that in the Bible? I mean, he just tell, talk about the dead season. Where is that at in the Bible? That's, those are fables that the Bible talking about they'll come up with. Only reason why I call it the dead seasons from all the years of the whole year of slandering that he done from the summer, spring, winter. With summer, spring, fall, and winter. And now it's the dead season because he didn't kill so many people throughout that time with his mouth. Slandering them. That's why you call it the dead season. Is that why, Dow? Because that ain't in the Bible. <laughs> he didn't taught y'all so many false fables. It, it, and, we're, it, and teacher Eric is, is allowing us to see the truth. Yeah, this, 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 this is going to be a long one. It's going to be a long one. But I tell you what. It, it, it's pretty much at the end. If you want to listen to it, fine. If you don't, that's fine. I'm just laying it all. Does the Bible tell us before Passover, you better lay it all at the, ooh, Jesus. Mm. We got to lay it all down before Yah. We got to lay it down at the altar. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm laying it down so I can move forward and be the light that he's called me to be. And the Bible says, how can light and darkness walk together? And they don't agree. So we can't, we can't roll with you down. You know, I pray that there's any possibility that you and, and, and those people that follow you and, and, and always being yes men and co-signing your wickedness, I pray that there's repentance for you. But we can't never do you. Like, because did, did you ever see or hear an account where the Most High let Satan back into the to heaven to be a part of the rulership, to be a part of the people. He let them go to and from. Saw them coming. We read that in the account of Job. But trust me, he was never allowed to really come back into the home. So I, I, I would never do anybody like you at the level of wickedness, wickedness that I saw in you in that ministry. However, Let's listen to you talk well of Pastor Eric again, you know. And Richard Flairman, you mentioned his name. I noticed out of all the men, you never made him an elder, a deacon. Because you know what? You knew you couldn't use him the way you want to. You knew he wasn't going to be that. I mean, he went along with the, the wickedness. Anybody on that land by now have gone along with your wickedness or turned a blind eye. You know, they did like Pontius Pilate. I washed my hands of this. You know, <laughs> however, you knew he was only going to go so far with your foolishness. That's why you never made him a deacon. That's why you never made him an elder. And y'all don't see through this stuff. And y'all, y'all, I'm going to tell you. Pastor, Mir, Brother Mike saw that you was going to be a pastor. But you'll never be a good pastor under this man's leadership. You'll never be what Yah's calling you to be. You won't. And are you afraid to step out and really do Yah's will because you worried about what Dow think? We can't worry about what people think about us. We got to be willing 
If you think doll is worth your soul, <laughs> y'all go right ahead. I ain't never had a man that good. Never. Ever had a man that good. Worth my soul salvation. Anyway, the only reason why he made y'all pastors and elders is because he did it right before feast day. It's kind of like, you know, Elder Becker did a video telling y'all about the business world and how things are ran. Well, that's a CEO move. You know, what do what do people do in presidential states and when they have businesses and they're about to lose possibly their good play their men that to bring them forth a lot of money that do good work for them. They offer them a position to keep them. That's what Dow did to y'all. That's why he encouraged y'all to do polygyny because he know the world is not going to accept that. Any way to trap you. That's why he don't do like the video which you see of me talking about a good leader. The man of the ch church that I grew up in and watched this man bless everybody, help everybody. He, don't he won't ever do that. Because, see, there's no control if he just bless people and just be what Yah told him to be. He wants control and power. That's what he wants. But I'm going to be quiet for a minute. If y'all can listen to all that rampant raging on the videos that Dow did, surely you can listen to some wisdom. So let's listen to this. Now it's interesting. He talking to the white brothers on here. Y'all go listen to that. He telling y'all what y'all need to do. The white brothers. And you know why, Dow? You know why you don't have a whole lot of... Now you got a lot of black men following you. But you notice they go home to they, <laughs> they go home to their own homes. It ain't a lot of black men on your land, cause they, they, you know, they ain't saying that to you. But they ain't gonna be down with that. How many of them black men that's in your ministry that you offer them to be come on your community and be a part of your community and they decline? They, you know, they might not have declined to you verbally because you don't know how to communicate and you might get mad. So they just decline by not doing it. You know, that's, that's how they decline with you. They just don't, they talk, they talk about something else with you. And they go to the next thing. But you notice the black men, they, ain't many black men on your community. You know, the ones that are there, you know, they're not strong black men. You know, bless their heart. I pray they for their strength. But, you do have more white and, and other uh, nationalities on your land. Because most black men ain't going for that, what you be doing. <laughs> Even if they come around, and, you know, they might come around for the women and the drinks. You know, like that's where people go to a club. You just you just a club that they can say they get church, club, everything. You you the first place. Maybe that's what you could call it. And, and it would be more uh, accurate. You the club church. You could come here, get drunk, have sex, got women. I mean, you know, hey, you the first club church, you know? So maybe that's why they like, because, see, you can still be fleshly and say you love God. You know, he ain't having that. So, you know, we over here for to be at the mission. We, Pastor Robinson is teaching the truth. We ain't playing with y'all. We seriously about our soul salvation. Y'all could be the little people, people that have in a form of godliness, but deny the power within. That's what you do. You're the form of godliness. So everybody that rolls with you, we know they just have a form of godliness. I get it. I finally get it. Ooh, Jesus. Okay. Let's, let's listen to you talk about the white brothers. Curse with black skin and they're under the curse of ham. Go against racism of the confederacy go against the Ku Klux Klan get passionate about that because you're in our family now and then you black people black melanated people and stuff what you should be doing this is what you should be doing we're in the position to correct the behavior of these people and if they don't want to hear it then move on you don't see me addressing and giving credence to these um, houses of spiritual irrepute out there now you see that let, let, let's go back and listen to what he's correct the behavior of these people and if they don't want to hear it then move on you don't see me addressing and giving credence to these um houses of spiritual irrepute out there so see how he's saying 
We black people, we are to address this. That's what I did. You see how much of a hypocrite is? And you say, because I'm a woman. That dog wouldn't listen to nothing a woman say. But do the Bible say that? When Deborah was over there being a judge. Judging the men because y'all wouldn't do it. We're here today again. Men won't do righteous judgment. We got one or two, three or four here that stand up. They like popcorn. There's so few of them. They pop up here, pop up there. But the rest of these men, they just sitting down. A duh. A duh. You know, just being carried by you. You know, you make me wonder if you into homosexuality. You talking about my son. I mean, at least he true to it. He ain't on the down low. Maybe that's how you roll. Because you always giving accolades to men. I've even heard you take, tell men how good looking they are and stuff. You know, maybe that's why. Oh, maybe that's why you jealous of Pastor Eric. Because Pastor Eric is a good looking man. <laughs> I got a good looking pastor. And no, I ain't lusting over him. But I'm a woman and I can, I can appreciate a nice looking man. Pastor Eric is a good looking man. And he don't roll like that down. He don't roll like that. He got a wife. He has a wife, and he's pleased with his wife and his family. Doing a good job. Doing a good job raising his family. He's going to have some beautiful children. Hallelujah, they're beautiful. Nobody's perfect, but he definitely put in them some good things. Hallelujah. Those are, uh, those are going to be some people that we don't have to worry about being menaces. There's going to be a whole lot of menaces come out of your ministry. Ooh, Jesus. Whole lot of menaces to society because they're following you. And y'all people just letting your children be around anything. You might as well let them be around the homosexuals if you're going to have them around this man. They sure can't learn their words. You know? And, and the sad part, some of you women used to be so particular about your children. And I'm surprised you letting this man... Be a leader over your children. You ain't watching out for them no more too much. Bless your heart. Uh, oh, Jesus. Okay, let's go back where you talk about, again, giving Pastor Eric accolades. Now, he going to tell you. See, I've never seen so many stupid per people in the world. I don't know if it's Tennessee. I don't know. But i just never seen so many dumb people. Like, he tell you how he feel about you, what he think about y'all, and y'all don't believe it. Just like the movies they put out to show us stuff. And y'all don't think it's y'all don't think that ain't nothing to that. <laughs> Man. Can't say they lied to you, can you? Let's listen to them. Carry themselves. We are so diametrically opposed to this Western philosophy, ideology, and theology, and, and what you see in this European construct over here in, in America, that there's no way you can confuse us with being Americans. You can't. You can't in any way, shape, fashion, or form. All right? We're Israelites. And in our culture as being Israel, we have white brothers, white sisters, melanated brothers, melanated sisters, all people of different ethnic backgrounds because we are a mixed multitude, just like the Torah says. You need to all understand that when you're brand new coming over here and you come in with a critical spirit or you think that you're right, first of all, number one, and you make an attack, number one, Pastor Dow don't give a damn about your opinion and neither does all the faithful Israelites that in straightway care. Now he telling you, I'm, well, I'll play it again, that he don't give a Damn about your opinion. And neither does his posse. His yes men and yes women. They don't care. That's what, that's, that's what we saw. That's what happened. He telling y'all. Y'all better start listening. You better get your mind off the drink. And the coochie. And. Silly women flaunting themselves. To, you better get your mind off of that. And really listen and pay attention. Let's let's listen to this game. The people of the book. And so therefore, my culture that means a lot to me is the culture of the Israelites, the Hebrews. My father 
We are so diametrically opposed to this Western philosophy, ideology, and theology, and, and what you see in this European construct over here in, in America, that there's no way you can confuse us with being Americans. You can't. You can't in any way, shape, fashion, or form. All right? We're Israelites. And in our culture as being Israel, we have white brothers, white sisters, melanated brothers, melanated sisters, all people of different ethnic backgrounds because we are a mixed multitude, just like the Torah says. You need to all understand that when you're brand new coming over here and you come in with a critical spirit or you think that you're right, first of all, number one, and you make an attack, number one, Pastor Dow don't give a damn about your opinion, and neither does all the faithful Israelites that in straightway care about your opinion. It's totally irrelevant. And I really, truly don't give about your opinion when you, all you have to do is look at your lifestyle and see what your life has gotten you so far. You're not, many of you are just simply not too successful. And you literally are not going to sacrifice your wicked, perverted. Now, what do you call successful? Being out of a military, you don't even finish nothing. You got out of the military, you wasn't man enough to finish the military. Wasn't even man enough. You got out of the military 10 years, and you ain't worked a job after that. And you call that successful, begging from people, sitting, running your fat mouth. And people, I just don't understand. I, 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 just, I can't understand stupid people. The Bible talks about it, though. I got to get it. Itching ears. I mean, y'all find him entertaining. I mean, I know I can get paid. I know I can get paid with the stuff I can sit up and do if y'all find this man entertaining. But you know what? That means nothing to me. If I never go on a trip, if I don't drive the most fanciest car, live in the biggest home, as long as I live in the mansion in the, the, mansion in the kingdom, and I got to live right to get there. I got to do right. I got to be a light and the salt. I don't have time to be wicked. It's not a luxury that I can afford. <laughs> it's temporary. We know one thing. None of us will ever outlive. Whenever we die, that dash between your birth. We will never outlive that in eternity. Eternity is for eternity. So y'all can, you can die, you can have all the little pleasures you want. And you know what? You you sold out to Satan for much less. You know, I mean, it's people that at least sold out for more. You, you, you know, project minded, project minded. You just happy to be able to rule over some people. Bless your heart. Hmm. And I've been amongst better people. I just want you to know I've been kicked out of better places, been around better people, and I'm grateful for. Hallelujah. You know, maybe you wouldn't have been jacked up if you was around some better people. But anyway, Mr. Dow don't care nothing about y'all. I'm going to just end it here, but he speaks well of Teacher Eric again. If they don't get a chance to change the video, uh, take it down. You know, sound bite. I don't do that. I don't know how to do that. I, I didn't even know how to work a cell phone when I started talking to you, Mr. Dow. When, not even talking to you, but talking about hypocrisy. That's what I was talking about. You can go back and look at my very first video. It's a little pink Bible. Wanting to do the work of the Lord. That's what I wanted to do. And after seeing how disappointing you were, as a ministry that I thought that was going to be the ministry to lead us to the most high. Yeah. Lead us all the way to the kingdom. Mm -mm. My GPS said rerouting, rerouting this nigga wicked reroute, reroute straight wicked. Ain't straight way no more. It's straight wicked. So I had to reroute. A lot of us rerouted. Some of, some of us had to get kicked out the league. See, and that I want to talk to the people that had to be kicked out the league. If you didn't leave because you knew that was the right thing to do after you saw the wickedness and you just watched the wickedness, you need to go renounce this man. You need to renounce that ministry 
and repent for sitting up watching the wickedness and staying a part of that. Not warning nobody and just walking in that. You need to repent to the most high. Go study your prescription. Y'all can Google stuff now. I, I ain't giving that to you. I, I, I'm not doing that to you. You know, if if you ever want to listen to righteous pastors, you know, y'all know of Teacher Eric. Man, he used to speak well of. Just tune in and listen. He, you ain't got to know. I'm just trying to tell you to get your soul right because this man ain't getting nobody's soul anywhere but hell. Get your soul right. That's who, all important. And if you are a part of polygyny, and you did that. If you want to be, if you want to stay that, take your little family and y'all work it out. If the first wife don't want her and she tired of the person being there, then be a man and take care of his children if there's any children involved. Give the woman a chance to get on her feet. You know, just do right. Do right. Do right by people. That's what Yah is calling us to be. Because the world ain't doing nothing right. We got enough of them. We don't need no more churches that's wicked. Not enough wickedness in the world themselves. When we listen at the destruction, the killing, the unnecessary hurting and pain and lying and deceiving and stealing. We got enough of that from the world. We don't need nobody to have a church group and do it. So, oh Jesus. It's the long vid- longest video I've ever done. But there's a link at the bottom. There'll be a link at the bottom of this video. Go listen. When he fall out with you, he don't communicate with nobody. He make you think it. Them people on his land, they, bless their heart, them people on his land, they know he don't communicate with them. He communicate at them. Cuss them out. Talk about one minute good with the next minute. I don't know. It's it just sad. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Bless your heart. Sister Victoria signing off. I'm grateful that y'all raised up a man of y'all who ain't playing church. And I'm grateful to be a part of the mission ministry. Signing off. Shut down. Countdown to the channel shut down. Y'all speak. Because this, this channel is foul. Because I stand up, stood up to talk to a wicked ministry, foul down ministry, straight wicked. And so I'm going on in the newness of life. Uh, there will be... Um, in the link, my channel, if you'd like to come on and talk about some real issues and start to get healing, we're going to talk about some real stuff. And this, and this is for people, if your ears are itching, you ain't trying to come hear me. I don't care about no subscriptions. I don't care about if you hit the like button because I ain't doing this for publicity, for money. I'm doing it because my heart is right with the most high and I want to see his people helped. Nobody helped me when I was a child growing up too much. And I'm thankful that Yah did that because he put that desire into me to want to help others. I'm thankful that I had pastors like at Greater Grace Temple, David Elder Ellis, Bishop David Elder Ellis, who showed us how we are supposed to be with our people and how we're supposed to help us. And he ain't just helped the people that was in the church. He helped the community, the people that was in the neighborhood. He just was a real man of Yah. That's what we need to get back to. In Jesus' name, as the mission grow, you know, y'all have vandalized community name. And I wouldn't get in a community if somebody gave me one for free. You can have it. I'd rather buy my own land than to take a trance with you wicked people. So all in the blank of an eye, y'all change y'all feelings in a light switch. You know, you don't even have a clapper. You, you just switch off on. Love off on. It ain't real. Y'all can sit up there and look at each other in straightway ministry and know the fake and the phony. Y'all feel it. You know you don't feel no Holy Spirit there. So just know what it is. Know you going to a, a church, get drunk, get high, talk shit, slander. 
that's what you like. That's what you enjoy. Meanwhile, the righteous people, we over here trying to help help build our treasures in the kingdom. We ain't building no treasures on earth because it's gonna. we ain't taking none of that with us. I'm going to build my treasures in the kingdom of heaven. Where the moth, the dust, the thief can't come take it. But it will be laid up for me. Oh, hallelujah. It'll be laid up for me in the kingdom, waiting on me. Hallelujah. That if I submit myself to Yah, he is faithful and just to forgive me. He is faithful and just to perfect everything concerning me. Blessing, signing off to the Yahspeed channel. Signing off to the Yahspeed channel. Who? Victory truly is yours. We didn't leave anybody unknowing. We didn't slander anybody. We just told truths. And we thank the Yahweh. The links will be left at the bottom. Shalom.